Welcome to another session on comparing quantities. We have been taking our profit and loss and the percentages. I continue with more such questions. I'm writing one on the screen. If a man were to sell his hand cart for oh the left space for rupees seven hundred and twenty he would lose twenty five percent what must he sell it to gain to gain twenty five percent if a man were to sell his hand cart for 720, that means it's given to us that the selling price, if had been like, <clears throat> sorry, selling price was like 720, he would have lost 25. This information can help us find out the cost price, right? We know that if the loss is 25 percent we can use the formula to find the cost price cost price is 720 into 100 like 100 by as because it is loss 100 minus 25 into selling price so this is 100 by 75 into 750 so the cost price was well this is not 750 I made a mistake here this was 720 I'll erase it part the question says it is 720 I by mistake made it 750 if we cancel this, I'm getting 5, 2, this is 5, 1, 25, 5, 4, 5, 3, and this is 24, so I'm getting 960 as the cost price. We have already got the cost price and we are given to, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> um, excuse me and then we have to find the selling price what must be the selling price to gain so it is cost price plus profit profit will be like 25 percent of 960 25 percent of 960 i think is giving me 240 so the selling price will be cost price plus profit so it is 960 plus 240 that will be the selling price to gain 25 percent that gives me 1200 rupees this was a simple question let's move on with another question i write down the question here first A man sold two articles at rupees two five nine two zero each. That means this is the selling price given for both the I mean these two articles. Oh I made a mistake two articles so that will make it here two articles sorry. I'll erase and directly write a small 2 down here. At rupees 25920 each. These are the selling prices given. These were sold at 8% gain and 4% loss respectively we have to find the gain or loss percentage 
in the whole transaction. in the whole transaction okay let us first find out the cost price in each case i'll take here this being the first case suppose i'm writing here this is first case i'll be doing here i'll be doing the second case the first case the selling price was 25920 oh, oh sorry the selling price was two five sorry two five nine two zero and there is a profit of eight percent so the cost price will be hundred by hundred plus gain that makes it hundred and eight multiplied by the cost price so it is two five nine two zero if i'm solving this let me just do it it is 25920 multiplied by 100 and divided by 100 it gives the cost price to be 2400 and the second case again we'll write the cost price was given to be 25920 but this is a case of loss of four person so we will calculate the cost price as 100 by 100 minus 4 that is 96 multiplied by 25920 thereby giving me divided by 96 gives 27000 as the cost price of the second one so the total cost price and right here the total cost price or I'll write here recipe will be equal to the sum of these two like 24,000 and 27,000 will be 24,000 and 27,000 will be 51,000 will be the total cost price I write here 51,000 let's see what was the total selling price that will help us find out if there is a total uh, gain or loss in the whole transaction total selling price see each of them were sold at 25920 so it is 25920 multiplied by 2 that will give me five one eight four zero so it is five one eight four zero so the profit there is a profit because the total selling price is more than the cost price the total profit will be five one eight four zero minus fifty uh fifty one thousand that's giving us only 840 rupees we just need to calculate or convert this into percentage so it will be profit it will be here profit by the total cost price into 100 so it is 840 into 100 divided by 51,000 and that's giving only 1.65 percent we may want to one more question because henceforth after we take this profit and loss there might be a question where there might be the portion wherein we take up or start taking up discounts I write the next question down here it says by reducing the selling price of an article by rupees 50 a gain of 5% turns into a loss of five percent find the original selling price 
find the oh god there is find the original selling price of the article let us take the original selling price to be x i write it here let the original selling price of the article be rupees x now if the selling price was x original selling price was x there is a gain of 5% if there is a gain of 5% what was the cost price in such case so cost price will be i write it here 100 sorry by 105 because 100 plus gain 105 multiplied to the selling price which we have taken to be x so it is 20 by 21 x if we reduce it to lowest term because 5 cancels to 20 this is 21 this is the cost price now this cost price uh, sorry it says the selling price is now reduced by 50 then there is a loss that means the selling price becomes x minus 50 I'm sorry the selling price is x minus 50 in such case what will be the cost price in the such case then it becomes loss so it is 100 by loss so it is 100 minus 5 that is 95 and the selling price has become x minus 5 so if i reduce it it is 20 and this is 19 so it becomes 20 by 19 x minus 5 this is also the cost price so the cost price of the same article will be same for you know at in each case so we can get an equation by equating both of them like 20 by 21 x should be equal to 20 by 19 x minus 5 we simply have to solve this equation I better move on to another screen to solve it there is no more space left here I write the same equation in the next one so it says 20 by 21 X is equal to 20 by 19 X minus 50 <clears throat> sorry I will on the other hand this cancel this 20 they were making it 1 by 21 X is equal to X minus 50 by 19 right now I simply have to cross multiply so they were getting 19 X is equal to 21 X minus 21 into 50 is kind of giving me 1050 so it is 19 x minus 21 x is equal to 1050 so it's my sorry minus was there so minus 2 x is equal to minus 1050 this getting cancelled and we had taken x as 1050 by 2 thereby getting as 525 we had assumed x to be the selling price of the article so the, the i mean that was the question so the original selling price is rupees original selling price is equal to rupees 525 we take up now in the next session the discount questions. Thank you.